Adam and I'm really excited to show you our brand new llama cutters that are very very popular at the moment. The llamas are appearing everywhere, they're appearing on bags and t-shirts and we thought it would be really fun if we made one to put on a cake. So on the top here we've got the tiny one which is absolutely perfect for putting on a cupcake as well. And then further down the cake we've got the, the larger llama which we've got here, we've got the two. You could even put them on a really fun wedding cake as a Mr and Mrs llama which would be really cute. In the pack you get two cutters. One of them is the larger llama which we call the mummy llama and the other one is the smaller llama which we call the baby llama and this one is perfect for cupcakes. The paste we recommend you use is modelling paste. You can buy modelling paste or you can make your own. So here's some fondant. This is a Tylo powder. You can use CMC or gum track. This one's actually a rainbow dust one. So you pop a little bit on your work mat and then you knead your fondant into the powder Tylo. You'll feel your paste start to firm up a little as you do this. You can make it up in larger quantities and you would use about a quarter of a teaspoon to 250 grams of fondant. But I like to make mine as I'm going along and what I would do is I would wrap this up now in clean film, pop it in an airtight container and leave it for at least 30 minutes. Is better really if you do make it the night before. I'm going to show you how we made our llama. So first of all, we're going to start with the, the large llama cutout. So we place that on top of our modeling paste that we've already rolled out. I like to do it about two to three millimeters thick. Leave it dry off a little on top so it's not too sticky. If it's too thick or too sticky, it will stay in your cutter. We apply pressure all around so you get a nice, even cut. Slide it around your mat, remove the excess. Nice and simple. Go around with my finger, look on the back of the palm of my hand normally. And then I can just pop this through. I'm going to be a little bit careful because a llama has nice slender legs and what we don't want to do is make them stretch. Llamas are known for their decorative rugs, so I'm going to show you how to quickly make a nice rug to pop on your llama's back and also how to put the reins on. edible pens. So here I've popped an eye in. Now ideally you would put the rug on when it's still a bit damp, attach it to your cake if it's going on the front of your cake, if it's going on the top of your cake you would then do this, um, you, this will be completely dry anyway but before you start drawing on it has to be completely dry. Colour our llama's feet. If you want to, you can move further up. Remember this is a edible pen, not just any felt tip. And now we're going to give our llama some reins. Remember this has to be completely dry. here 
and here you'd do the extended rain that would actually be on the cake but obviously we can't do that because it's not on the cake yet here got a section coming out here and we've got one coming here and again coming here and then you can put some small tassels around it if you want to you can do this in all different colours of your choice. It's quite nice, you can have some fun with it. So all our tassels are done. You can do them in different colours and we're just going to pop a little mouth and a, a nose in as well. If you want to, you can add a little section on the ears. It's up to you. So there you have your very cute and easy to decorate llama. You can have lots of fun creating different rugs and of course decorating them with your edible pens. On our llama cake we've made the baby llama at the top with a circle cutter. We've decorated around the sides using just simple circles but in different colours. We've done two llamas here so you can have a mummy and a daddy with the rugs again decorating around the edges. And we finished off the bottom of the cake with one of our straight frill edges and we've put an inscription on of best wishes. But of course you can use this for any cake. You could even use them for a baby reveal cake, wedding cake, thank you cake, just any cake at all that you would like to be nice and fun and just a little bit different.